it looks like the Red Sox have found their new pitching coach. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Sea Radio. My name is Corbin. And a couple of days ago, Ken Rosenthal tweeted this out that said that the Red Sox were close to finalizing a deal with pitching coach Andrew Bailey. But after that tweet was sent, there was never really any true confirmation as to whether or not Andrew Bailey actually inked that deal, right? Fans were left wondering, are, is Andrew Bailey coming on in 2024? Is it still up in the air or did this deal fall through? And we really didn't hear anything since, at least until yesterday, where two very reputable Red Sox podcasts mentioned Andrew Bailey and the fact that he will be with the Red Sox in 2024. Both the Jared Carabas, Tyler Milliken, Name Redacted podcast and the Sean McAdams and Chris Cotillo Mass Live Fenway Rundown podcast mentioned the fact that Andrew Bailey will be joining the Boston Red Sox in 2024. So it looks like the Red Sox have got their guy. But what does that mean? Well, that's what we're going to try and figure out in today's video, because today what we are doing is we are breaking down who Andrew Bailey is, what he looks like as a pitching coach, why Andrew Bailey was hired to the Boston Red Sox, and how all of this is going to affect the 2024 and beyond Boston Red Sox. But before we get into that, November is almost halfway over, and we are almost halfway to our goal of raising $500 for Movember, an organization dedicated to bringing men's mental health services and awareness to men across the country and the world. It's a cause that is near and dear to my heart. If you have a brother, father, or a friend, or a cousin, or yourself who is a man, you understand how important men's mental health is and the awareness of men's, men's mental health. If you would like to donate and help us get to our $500 goal, the link will be in the description below. For everyone who donates, I will be matching up to $250. I will also be giving away some Red Sea Radio merch to one person who donates any amount of money in the month of November. So if you are interested, again, click the link in the description below. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one. Let's get into it. The Red Sox new pitching coach, Andrew Bailey, is a pretty interesting guy, and he's probably someone whose name you've heard of before. There are a couple of different reasons for this. Some of you guys probably recognize Andrew Bailey from his time in Major League Baseball, where he had a pretty successful career. He spent eight seasons in the big leagues as a reliever and finished with a 3.12 ERA over those eight years and a 136 ERA plus, meaning during those eight seasons, he was about 36% better than the average pitcher in Major League Baseball. He won a Rookie of the Year award during this time, and more importantly to Red Sox fans, he spent some time playing for the Boston Red Sox in 2012 and obviously 2013, where in the bullpen, he helped the Boston Red Sox win a World Series, right? That's a key piece to this puzzle as to why Andrew Bailey was hired by the Red Sox and what makes him such a good fit with this team. But that's not the only thing some of you guys may recognize him for. Another reason he may be recognizable is because of his off-field charity work where he and current CBO slash former teammate of Andrew Bailey's Craig Breslow founded the Strike 3 Foundation, a charity dedicated to pediatric cancer research, a really noble cause. And finally, some of you guys may actually recognize Andrew Bailey from his post-playing days where injuries sort of halted his career path. He stepped off the diamond for a little bit, realized he loved the game too much to stay away from it and wanted to help a team win in any way he can. He took up a job with the Los Angeles Angels and ended up being their bullpen coach in 2019. And probably more importantly to us as Red Sox fans in Andrew Bailey's newest role, he then moved to the San Francisco Giants in 2020, where he took over as their pitching coach and has been their pitching coach over the last three seasons. When we're looking at Andrew Bailey's resume, it is really, really impressive. He's done a lot of things both on the field, in the dugout, and off the field as well that make Andrew Bailey a prime candidate to take over for the Boston Red Sox. When we're talking about qualifications specifically around the pitching coach for a team, what Andrew Bailey was able to do for the most part in San Francisco was really, really positive. Over the last couple of years, San Francisco has had a few bigger names come through their ranks, and Andrew Bailey's been able to really help all of them. 
he helped Kevin Gosman be a Cy Young finalist, and Kevin Gosman still mentions him today as someone who really helped him turn his career around. Carlos Rodon had one of the best seasons of his entire career after joining the Giants and working with Andrew Bailey. And just take a look at this list compiled here of pitchers FIPS the year before they came to the Giants and the first year after they were with the Giants. Many of these pitchers on this list came into San Francisco and with the help of Andrew Bailey really improved their game and many of them coming into really great careers and paydays, right? A lot of guys have come through San Francisco, worked with Andrew Bailey and really improved their game all around. FIP, for those of you who may not know, is fielding independent pitching. It's essentially like if you took out all the fielders behind a pitcher, how effective are they on the mound? And for a lot of people, they got more effective when working with Andrew Bailey than they did the opposite way, which is a really great sign for Boston, right? Andrew Bailey being able to do a lot of great things in San Francisco hopefully should translate well to Boston. Now, when we're looking at how Andrew Bailey gets these pitchers to where they are going, he did an interview with MLB where he talked about his pitching philosophy, and on the surface, it seems really simple. He believes that each pitcher has a strength, and it's about centering around that strength, establishing an identity in the game, and then building off of that established identified strength, which again, feels like a simple philosophy, but it takes a lot of work and a really great eye to understand each individual player's true leverage point, right? Each individual pitcher got to the position that they are in because that one particular part of their game was better than almost everyone else, right? That's sort of how it works. When you're a top pitcher in the world and playing in Major League Baseball, there's something about you that makes you special. It's a Andrew Bailey's goal is to figure out what that is and leverage it to improve yourself on the mound, whether it's a sinker, a changeup, a, a delivery, a stride, an extension, a curveball, right? There's a thousand different things it could be, but it's about utilizing that and leveraging it and becoming a better pitcher, which again, on the surface, sounds really simple and sounds like something, hey, every team should be doing and every team tries to do, but if you don't understand and can figure out each individual player's specific leverage point, it becomes a really difficult task. And for Andrew Bailey, he's been pretty successful with it in San Francisco, specifically with guys like Logan Webb and Kevin Gosman. So if you combine the fact that Andrew Bailey has eight years of successful experience in Major League Baseball, a stint with the Boston Red Sox during a championship season, and the fact that in San Francisco, he's been able to utilize the fact that, hey, injuries kicked me out of the game, but I still have all of this knowledge that I'm willing to share and help other people with and really, really sort of transform a lot of pitcher statistics over there in San Fran. Andrew Bailey is a really, really interesting candidate for the Red Sox to bring in for this pitching job. But what does it mean for the Red Sox and how could it impact the 2024 team? In my opinion, I think there's a pretty big reason why Andrew Bailey was so sought after this offseason. Andrew Bailey had opportunities to go and join the New York Yankees in a higher position than what he's coming in for the Boston Red Sox with. He talked to the Orioles and the Marlins as well. Andrew Bailey had a lot of options out there, and there is a reason for this. It's because Andrew Bailey is really good at what he does. And for the Red Sox specifically, I think Andrew Bailey is going to bring a new look to this team that we've sort of been looking for over the last couple of seasons, right? After 2023 ended, one of the things I mentioned going into the offseason was that a lot of the younger players on the Boston Red Sox, specifically with the pitching staff, didn't take the step forwards that we were expecting going into the year. Guys like Tanner Howe, Garrett Whitlock, and even Brian Bayo to some degree almost sort of stayed put in their development and didn't really make those impressive strides with the talent they have that we were expecting going into this season. Andrew Bailey coming in and being a fresh set of eyes, bringing a new perspective to the youth in this rotation could be a really massive step in getting this team to where it wants to go pitching wise, right? And then of course, on top of that, the resume, the experience, it's all really great stuff leading into Andrew Bailey's tenure with the Boston Red Sox. And I think the new perspective, in my opinion, is maybe even possibly simplifying things. I'm not entirely sure what 
Dave Bush's philosophy, and I don't want to say it was overcomplicated, or I don't want to talk bad about Dave Bush, because I just don't know what his true philosophy was. But take a guy like Brian Bayo, right? Now take Andrew Bailey's philosophy, which is leverage what you're best at. Now Brian Bayo is leveraging that sinker and that changeup lower in the zone and playing off of that more than he had in 2022 and 2023. And we could see some real improvements with a guy like Brian Bayo. Same with Garrett Whitlock and his changeup, Tanner Houck and his slider, right? It's going to be really interesting to see how Andrew Bailey works specifically with the younger players on this team trying to continue to develop them. And I think that's going to be the biggest impact Andrew Bailey has. I also think there's, there's sort of an underlying benefit to bringing Andrew Bailey in. And that is now the fact that one, the person leading your team, the CBO of the Boston Red Sox played and won a championship with this team. Your manager sitting in the dugout played and won a, a championship with this team. One of the more prominent figures in the dugout dugout has played and won multiple championships with the Boston Red Sox. He's also the captain of your team, right? And now you're adding in a guy in the dugout who's going to be manning the pitching of the Boston Red Sox, who not only played the game and played in Boston, but also played in Boston during a championship season, right? It is understated, even with how much we talk about it, how important it is for the culture and the youth of the Boston Red Sox to be surrounded by former players and players players who have not only played the game in the city and understand what it takes to continuously play the game in Boston, but players who have also won here as well, right? It takes a certain special kind of team to win in this city, and almost everyone who's in charge of the Boston Red Sox has been a part of that team, understand what that mentality is, and so what Andrew Bailey is bringing to this pitching staff, that again, I don't fault Dave Bush for, but he's bringing the perspective of the mentality it takes to be a championship pitching rotation, pitching bullpen, whatever you want to focus on in Boston. And to me, that is a really important aspect of what Andrew Bailey brings to the Boston Red Sox and what his impact could actually look like. I think overall, Sean McAdams put it best on his Fenway Rundown podcast, where he said that this feels like the first win of the offseason for the Boston Red Sox, because it really does. Andrew Bailey is very good at what he does. The Red Sox have been looking for for a new voice to lead their pitching staff in 2024. Andrew Bailey with his connection to Craig Breslow, Boston, and his resume over in San Francisco feels like a perfect fit, but we're not gonna know until he actually starts doing things. We're also not gonna know until the Red Sox get him the pieces that he needs, right? He could do all of the teaching in the world. He could do all of, you know, little tweaks here and there, really getting the best out of the staff that you have. But if you aren't gonna give him the best tool to work with, he's never going to be able to get the job done. So now that they've got their pitching coach in place, it's time for the Boston Red Sox to go out and get some pitchers to help Andrew Bailey transform this rotation and transform this major league pitching staff. But overall, I'm very excited about Andrew Bailey being here. I think he's going to do a lot of really great things for the Boston Red Sox. And I think it's really cool that Craig Breslow was able to use his relationship with Andrew Bailey and bring him into the Boston Red Sox. I think this is all good news, but that's just my opinion. So let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? Are you excited about Andrew Bailey coming on? Are you nervous about Andrew Bailey coming on? Could you not care either way? What are your thoughts on the Red Sox hiring Andrew Bailey in the comment section down below? As always, if you made it to the end of this video, do me a favor. Make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new here, we talk Red Sox content almost every single day. Don't forget, we are still raising money for Movember. If you'd like to be entered to win some Red Sea Radio merch, click the link in the description below and donate to help a great cause today. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one, and I will see you in the Red Seats.